Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Lensangen from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video we'll be showing you how you can use your iOS device with Android Wear. Sort of. Just as a little disclaimer before we get started, this isn't a fully functioning version of Android Wear for iOS. Google hasn't officially opened up support, though it could happen as soon as Google I.O. You'll only be able to receive notifications and nothing more. You won't be able to reply to messages, use Google Now independently, or really get the most out of what Android Wear has to offer. It's mainly for feeding you notifications, telling you what time it is, and showing you the battery life of your iOS device. There were a couple of essentials we needed in order to get this to work. An Android device, an Android Wear smartwatch, an iOS device, and two apps. Wear Connect for iOS from the Google Play Store and BLE Utility from Apple's App Store. Now, even though you need an Android device to set up your Android Wear for iOS, you don't actually need to be around the Android device to receive iOS notifications. You can simply just leave it at home and be on your way. Setting it up will take about 10 to 15 minutes. It took us a few tries until we were able to sync our iOS device to an LG Watcher Bane, but after that, it should be all set. First thing you'll want to do is download Wear Connect for iOS from the Google Play Store. Once it's done installing, open it up on your Android Wear device and you should get a notification card to toggle the app on and off. Enable iOS connection and swipe the card to the right to dismiss it. After the card is dismissed, you'll see a new card that pops up that says disconnected. Next up, download BLE Utility from the Apple App Store and once the app is installed, launch it and choose the peripherals at the bottom, tap the disconnected notification on your Android Wear device and it should prompt you to enter a pin on your iPhone. Enter the pin found on your Android Wear device to your iOS device and once that's done, you should be offset. After it's all set up, your iOS notifications will start to show up on your Android Wear device. There isn't an official list of apps that will push iOS notifications to your Android Wear device, but everything I've used from Snapchat to iMessage works perfectly. Do keep in mind that this isn't an official release from Google, so not everything will work 100%. Google's I.O. conference is just right around the corner, and there's been a lot of talk about Android Wear playing nicely with iOS, so hopefully we'll see that very soon. If you guys have any questions or need help with a particular step, just leave them in the comments section down below and we'll try our best to answer your questions. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next one.